Greetings. We're here yet again on Table Rock, this time in South Central Oregon. And uh, it's a very prominent peak you can see from uh, all over the place, from Fort Rock, from Christmas Valley, and from behind us, Silver Lake. It just juts up and you can't really miss it. And uh, of all the Table Rocks I've been to in Oregon, there's a lot of them. <laughs> A lot of them out there. This one is rather table-like. It's not like super, super flat right on the top, but it does have a flat spot, which some of the table rocks in Oregon simply don't have. <laughs> I don't know why they call them table rocks, but there's a lot of them and a great deal of them, sorry about the wind, a great deal of them are not table-like at all. They don't, they don't have even a flat spot. You can sort of see it's a little table-like right out here. It's definitely got a, a bit of a table to it. Woo, that breeze is crazy. Another thing that's crazy is the road getting up here. It's uh, an access road for these comms towers, and it's a brutal road once you start up the hill. You can see the access road down here, and you go through some really interesting sort of juniper, deserty areas, and I don't know if you can really make it out, but down below, this uh, rock is surrounded by these fascinating sort of table lands that are all these exposed barren rocks and uh, they're covered in junipers as you can see. Get off me bug. And I was told by the ranger station that some of the trees down here because they have uh, no fuel anywhere near them, you know, they're surrounded by all rock. They can't be killed by fire. Nothing, you know, fire doesn't get to them and so they've survived generations and generations of various wildfires out here. And that means that, uh, according to the ranger, uh, some of these junipers are anywhere from 500 to 1,000 years old. Gosh, that wind is just coming from every direction. No fun whatsoever. I'm getting buzzed by turkey vultures, because we're up there. You can see there's another one. And there's this whole knife ridge that sticks out this way, and there's more of these sort of table lands and rock, oh, exposed rock lands out here. All around it, it's fascinating, but the, the vista is great. Look at the distance you can see. It just goes on forever out into infinity. Let's get up into the wind a little bit here. I've been tripsering around this, on this lava rock and my little bare feet and it's been, uh, <laughs> I think it's only fair considering what I just put my truck's tires through that I take a little abuse as well. Ooh, I gotta walk, I gotta get out of this wind here. Super, super windy here. You're up on a, an exposed sort of elevation here and there's not much you can do about the wind, but there's a little trail you can sort of follow from where you park to over where I just was. And you're walking across all this lava landscape. But man, you can see like the, the scarps going up and the, you know, the sort of blocks of layers of geology laid down. You see these tables and then another table and then a big flat. Look at how big and flat that is just extending out there. It's amazing stuff. Looking out this way, you can almost make out the four, four craters leading up to Green Mountain, um, the lava beds. Super cool stuff, but uh, I still need to find a place to stay tonight, and I still need to figure out how I'm going to survive getting down this treacherous, treacherous road. I highly recommend not trying it at all, and if you do, take a very good four-wheel drive vehicle with good brakes, not just good tires. Oh my gosh, that wind is brutal, but I got to get myself out of here, but uh, ooh, maybe I can use the shadow of the truck for a windbreak. Man, definitely... Uh, Whew, quite the place up here, you know, but it is, thankfully, unlike most other table rocks in Oregon, it is in fact a table. There's a table land right here for you to get into, and it's uh, definitely a, a heck of a place. I mean, it's just amazing. It's the kind of place you should probably, if you're going to come all the way up here, commit to staying for a little while and have a picnic or something. Got to get myself on the road here and get out of this wind, go stop down for the evening and enjoy this lovely desert afternoon that we're having here. It's warm, oh, verging on hot, so I do not mind the clouds so much. I do mind the wind. It always makes it so hard to cook and function and do videos, of course. Jeez, it's just ripping along. But I definitely want to thank you very, very much for joining me in this super windy location atop Table Rock in South Central Oregon to enjoy this beautiful sweeping vistas lovely lovely June, July weather cool geology and as always ants